Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Uh... Huh. Oh. Wave. I don't know how. Oh, here we go. Accepting. Accept. Accept. Unable to join. Hey, dude, it worked. Oh. How, how's the resolution? How about that? Uh, really? That's good. Really I've, had, I've had problems with that before in the past. Yeah. I'm... Oh, really? Uh, you, you look you look very musical right now. You have instruments, and I just have a... Well, this this is the, the only hotel. space in my house that I have for this stuff, so it's it's got to be it's got to be how it is. Oh. You conduct you conduct all of your business. So you answer emails from let's say, let's say you're going to email somebody I, late I, on a I get up, Thursday night. We'll say you I would, get up you out of bed. I put my slippers on. I come down to the basement. Mm -hmm. I turn at least one of those light switches on, and then I, I do my emails. Okay, and uh, that's it's boring, but it's my life. <laughs> I, I like I do my emails. Uh, that's very, very. Dude, I, I was Googling earlier how to get AirPods working on Instagram Live. Because I, I think I tried it once before and it didn't yeah. work. How did you do that? Uh, you just, you swipe down your little, uh, in the upper right corner, the control center. And then you just, I mean, you just connect your AirPods in it. And it, like, I don't Okay, well, that's, that's I'm not, I'm not a, a Tickman. But I think that this is going to yeah, be sure. most of what uh, our upcoming oh. tour is going to be is, is you teaching me how to how to work iPhones. <laughs> well, the the good news for you, the good news for you is that I worked oh, for oh, yeah? at Staples for six years. So anything you need tech related or like ink cartridge wise or file folders, you know, I'm happy to help you with. Like, you know, th there's some things that are confusing for people like uh, are these folders one third cut or one fourth cut? There's a, there's a lot more to yeah, it yeah. Than, than people expect. Like it's not well, just I, I was trying to connect my laptop, laptop to my printer the other day. I was having some problems. If, uh, if you're able to send me uh, an, an email sure. with how to do that, I would appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, is it is it a wireless we're printer? Talk, that's we're talking Bluetooth. Over, uh, we're talking Bluetooth. Or is it a USB um, cable? Bluetooth. Okay. Okay. Uh, Does it I support so, AirPrint? Yeah. No. Uh, it's not a Okay. Okay. Um, well, that's that's great. I feel like um, for for our audience watching, uh, welcome to uh, this is the uh, I think the name of this officially is the the Welcome to Helvetica tour press conference and yeah, media. Yeah, that's, that's the full name, which is what we wanted to call the tour, uh, but we thought that it was at least two syllables too much. So for the sake of marketing purposes, we we cut it a little bit. But uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. Just, just a little bit. I, I have to say, yes. I have to let everybody know who's watching uh, now, those uh, who, who may be fans of us and also for Joywave. Um, Daniel here, Mr. Armbruster, is probably uh, the funniest Very text good. messenger that I've ever had the the pleasure of of exchanging messages with. Um, so so there's that. So I'm I'm looking I'm really looking forward to this tour. It's going to be awesome. Well, uh, uh, I th I think it's going to be great. And and for people watching, Dallin and I have never I, I didn't know what Dallin's voice sounded like until this. We've we've only texted. So this is. Uh, uh, this is a, <laughs> you're witnessing history right here, uh, uh, us us virtually meeting. Um, uh, do you want to take questions from people now? Of course, we would only open this up to uh, media outlets, people or people with blue check marks. You know, we are not 
trying to hang out with the plebeians who, who you know, uh, I suppose if now there's a question thing on the bottom, I, I can open this up and maybe like if there's no questions from media outlets, maybe we could open it up to, to the regular folks. You know what, I, I, I think if, it's if probably okay a good idea because we have bands that are on our level are so used to like the major media outlets, your Wall Street Journals, your Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. And it just gets so tiresome, yes. you know, yes. like the the same uh, Absolutely. gigantic publications asking the same questions time by time by time by time. And it's like, hey, what about the common man? You know, what about them? It's it, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we can. Uh, let me see here. I, I think I have. Do you have the you don't have. I've got a little button, question. Right? Uh, I have the question. I've got a little question mark, but I'm scared to push anything because I feel like if I do this whole thing is going to collapse. Yeah. <laughs> it goes away. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. I got a, the question button. Uh, oh, here's, here's a great start because uh, I'm sure, Dallin, that you saw the same questions that I did on the tour announcement. So we'll just, yeah. we'll just hit this right off the bat. Uh, any plans in the future to do other Canadian dates? And this... This is confusing for me because uh, I saw we were playing the uh, the area of Canada mm -hmm. called Vancouver, and uh, from my understanding, not many people live in Canada, so it's just kind of I figured they would all go to the one. It's it's like when you play New York City and it's Brooklyn, Manhattan, right? Like the, the, there's a mayor of Canada. Yeah, isn't is Vancouver things, like where the, the king of Canada it. lives? Their, their king? Is that, is that what they have there? I, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure as well. And, and so uh, I don't see why there would need to be more than one Canadian date. And I would invite you to uh, come yeah, to the Vancouver I, show. I think, we, you know, we had uh, the last tour that we did, um, we had two Canadian dates because of, but because of COVID restrictions going through the border. Uh, it, it just didn't work out and we had to like uh, to postpone them and we haven't been able to get back yet like the COVID stuff is still with us unfortunately so but we'll figure it out one of these days that yeah that that was the uh, uh the serious answer was that the regulations were hard to understand well not hard to understand but uh they were difficult to project four months into the future yeah. which is how you have to book a tour so uh uh, yeah, on our last headline tour, we did not go there at all because we were like, are we actually going to be able to play or are we going to You, you guys are pretty close because you're in Rochester, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> we live several streets <laughs> into the United States. Uh, we're, we're right on, uh, on, on Lake Ontario. And it, it always frustrates me uh, because I, I'm a big hockey fan. So I, I pay more attention to Canadian media probably – than most Americans, but I, I always complain about this when we talk about Canada, but they have the equivalent of intellectual protectionist tariffs. Where, I don't know what that is, but where, I like it already. Uh, like 60% of their, <laughs> oh, well, like 60% of their media has to be made by Canadians so that the American culture doesn't right. just run over the whole country. So it, it makes sense, but basically what happens is they're listening to the radio and they're like, oh, here's like insert very big artist. And then when the next song would normally be Joy Wave or I don't know how, uh, it's not. It's like some kids from okay. Mississauga. Okay, so you're Justin Bieber's, you're, uh, who else is Canadian in, in the music world? I don't know. There, there needs to be a, a, a Canadian invasion in the world. And I know you have good bands up there in Canada. Let's, let's hear them. Get them out there. Um, Okay, well, here is, uh, wow, I, I guess you guys can, like, vote for questions in the, the question button. Like, you can like people's questions, and then it, it will push it to the top. So, for example, uh, this question has the most likes right now, so it's at the top. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not prepared to answer it. Uh, <laughs> it's just, what is poop? Yeah, that's, uh, I, think, I think that's a a topic of conversation you have with your kids when they're like, you know, one or two. <laughs> it's it's been a while since I've had that conversation, so I'm a little out of practice, but uh, yeah. But I'm excited, man, this would be great. I, I did see someone say that uh, the black keys look different. 
uh uh any any bands in uh, for over man, well, there's like a short list it's just uh it's a matter of like who can do it and who we can you know uh work into the schedule and who's available and, and budgets and things like that you know that's the reality unfortunately because there's you know there's there's always you know bands that i'm fans of that i'd love to have on the bill but maybe like can't quite uh, afford to keep them on or something you know so yeah, I I mean I, I think that was a good, a very good diplomatic answer. Um, it, it unfortunately I think always comes down to. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it come it it all boils down <laughs> yeah. to six or seven things you just. I, I wish I wish we lived in that world where you could just like, you know, some band that you're friends with or a fan of, you say, hey, come out with us, and it was as easy as that, but. Uh... You know, everyone's got to keep a uh, gas in their vans, so to speak. So it's that's the reality. Oh my God, it's it, dude. It's so it's so bad right now. Like, hey, when, oh, when it's got to be run? four months ago, maybe more. I, I don't know. Okay, I thought that. You know, I I, I think we uh, texted about this, but uh, being in uh, amazingly unsuccessful, <laughs> glorified local bands in the past, where you're where you're very worried about the cost of gas. And, and I remember being in one of those where you're like, you know, hauling a trailer and getting seven miles to a gallon of gas. And it was like, uh, I think it was probably like great recession times or something. And gas was like $4 <laughs> a gallon. And it just murdered like, like we were losing so much money. And also we were like working jobs like to even pay to go mm -hmm. on, on the tour. And, and this last tour, like the gas concern came back because it was Ugh. like you know diesel was like six or seven dollars a gallon in some and it's a shame like, too because because oh really God. the only still... reason that i do any of this is for the money um let's let's be real um <laughs> that's why i do it and and that was the first thing that dalen said to me was he said it, we it, you know we had the idea of maybe we should you know link up and, and do this together and and dalen said you look <laughs> like a guy who can make me a lot of money it's and, true. And, uh, and, and, and Daniel, right in his response, he said, yeah, it's funny that you should say that because when I, when I take the stage and the, and the curtains part, I don't see uh, faces looking back at me. I just see dollar signs. <laughs> and I, I, I thought that was a bold statement, but he said it. And, um, and uh, I, I, I support it. I'm a fan of Joy Wave. I'm excited for this tour. Um, it's going to be awesome. Uh, that said, Daniel, I, I feel like uh, the time has come. I, um, I, I have to apologize publicly. I, I've, my lawyers oh, have prepared oh. a written statement. Um, anyone who's been following the sort of goings on about this tour knows how it all started. Uh, we had a, a bit of a, a disagreement on, on Twitter, a little bit of a back and forth, tete a tete maybe, uh, about the use of Helvetica which is a font, if people aren't aware. But, um... Uh, uh, the, the Joy Wave. That's fair. It's a fair aware. statement. Uh, and uh, that ties into what I'd like to say. So if I may, I'd like to read this uh, written statement um, prepared by my team. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to publicly apologize to Joy Wave and to its subsidiaries. Throughout my career, I've always relied upon other people's fonts, and that's the truth. Truth of the matter is uh, that I just don't have any good font ideas of my own. Um, I saw how well people were responding to Joy Wave's use of Helvetica. And in my hubris, I thought that nobody would notice if I blatantly copied them by using Helvetica myself and passing it off as my own font. I apologize for this lapse in judgment, and I hope that the public can forgive this unfortunate display of total creative bankruptcy. Thank you. The end. Uh, un unbelievable. I mean, thank you so much. That came from well, uh, the heart. Well, uh, I, I liked how you were looking off camera for most of the time that you were reading it. The, the hearts were pouring in on the chat. I mean, people, I think, I think people that really resonated. Well, with I practiced it all night. Fans. And um, uh, the idea was to make it seem like it was coming from the heart. But really, if I'm honest, I, for some reason, I can't lie to you, Daniel. I, 
uh, it, it came from a place of wanting to simply avoid a lawsuit. So that's really the heart of it. Um, and I'll have you know that this, this official apology was typed out in the courier font. Just out of, out of respect. <laughs> which, which, which I think is, uh, I would call that your own font. Like that is uh, 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 maybe, a, maybe a change to courier <laughs> for, for IDK. How, just well, I'll, I'll have to do some homework and make sure that uh, no other bands are, are using it. But um, yeah. <laughs> That's your next record cover is just a very small <laughs> IDK. How Did, we're courier talking about you know, our world. old uh, uh, local hero bands. Uh, back in the day, years and years ago, I had a band called uh, the Brobeck Space out of Salt Lake City. And this... At the time, you know, doing the little one inch buttons, pin on buttons was like the thing. Uh, we decided yes. to go the opposite route and get the biggest buttons you could find, but had like the smallest typeface ever. So it was like this giant white button and it just had the band name like really small in, in the bottom <laughs> corner of it. I love that. Can you, can you do, uh, I mean, <laughs> please do that. On I, I would love course. to. I, I probably still have one floating around here somewhere, but yeah. <laughs> um, thro throwing it back to the comments, uh, if Kids Bop did a cover of one of the IDK house songs, what song oh, would you want them to do? I, I would, I would pick like one of the, one of the darker songs and just see how, so just because I'd be curious to how they change the lyrics, because I know they do that. When there's like a a, a yes. swear or or there's like a an iffy subject matter, they change a word or two to the, make it more family friendly. So I, I'd be curious to see that. Oh yeah, like the <laughs> yeah. friendship gets subbed in for like. Uh, and, and it's yeah, uh, it, it's, it's I'd be especially curious with some of the newer stuff with, that I've been writing lately because I, I've. I actually wrote a song that has a swear and it don't don't tell anyone. It's the first time I've ever done that. I usually try to avoid it. Couldn't avoid it this time, so we'll see. I haven't Some sometimes you need it. Uh our our new record is parental advisory and I'm I'm not a big swearer in songs just because I, I I don't know. I mean occasionally you need it, but but I made the mistake of putting the bad S word into a chorus. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's like right. three shits in a song. Is, is that one too many? Is that what gets lawyers, the sticker? I, I don't, I don't know what the number is, but I know if you put the <laughs> shit in the chorus, you're fucked. Well, what cracks me up is like somewhere it's written down, like the allotments that you get. Like uh, you get two yeah. shits before you get a, a parental advisory sticker. Like that's written down somewhere. I would like to see those rules, just so that I can make songs accordingly. Uh, I I also don't understand why like why is it just it's like a binary threshold like that doesn't feel right to me like three shits versus like a, a limp biscuit like Fred Durst thing where it's like a million fucks like why don't why isn't it like you know oh this one has three stickers right like the value of maybe that should be the new the new rating system shits. based on this how many stickers you have shits. it's a it's a four it's sticker record. Shits. You know, this this is how this yeah, is how yeah. sweary it is. It's the world's first four sticker record. <laughs> uh, there was a, a a friend of mine's band. Uh, they got signed to the the publishing company who oh, does what? all the kids bop things, and they were so excited about it. So we did a version of their song where we re-recorded it. And we had uh, my buddy's kids sing the song, so we recorded a kids' bop version, and we changed <laughs> and we did like change words around, and we sent it in, and we're like, guys, we kids bopified this for you. It's free. Have it. Put it on your kids' bop, <laughs> and they're like, no thanks. <laughs> so it's just sitting in somebody's inbox where they're like, oh, what? dude, who are these? Kids? I, I I did it's, I did uh, something similar yeah, recently the good. other day. Like, awesome. I, I wrote a country song and not just a country song but like a hit country song you know it hits all the, the bullet points that you want to have in a country song they're all there the key change the stomp clap chorus like formula from top to bottom it's a hit country song 
and I sent it out to whomever, like I sent it off to Country World, but I guess like they're pretty like close knit. Like if you don't occupy that world, they won't mess with you. So I might have to just record it myself and, and put it out. Oh we'll yeah. See. Uh, I, I, I similarly had like during, during the lockdown, I, I came up with, uh, I wanted to do a country song about, uh, glorifying like the gentrification <laughs> of Nashville and like, uh, uh, like pretending that like a $8 latte is really relatable for like red America folks. And I did this whole thing, and, and I sent it in, and, and everyone was like, it's really funny. No one is ever going to sing this song. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from the, the country song I sent in. <laughs> they don't like, yeah, they don't like, like when we make fun like, of them. I mean, the song, like, the song I sent in it, does have a little, weird. like, wink to it. You know, but, like, there's so many, like, country songs that do that. But I guess, like, if you're not in that world, then they take it yeah. as sort of, like, well, are you making fun of us? Like, I, I was being sincere, but, like... Right. Uh, I guess it's understandable. Like if, if someone from outside your genre comes in with something for you, it's like, well, what's your motive here? So. Yeah. You, I, I feel like you guys appreciate the wink. We, we appreciate the wink as well. Like, like yeah. too many things are, are too serious. And I, and I always feel like, uh, our, like if you're doing your job as an artist or a musician, you're, uh, you're exploring, you know yourself and and feelings or the the human experience and a big mm -hmm. part of that is like laughing right or, or or winking and so many people think it's like this thing where like if you if there's any amount of humor yeah. in it like you're yeah. weird al and and you're not it's just another like, way of dealing with things uh, even if like it's a serious subject matter it's a way of like compartmentalizing things that are awful uh, you know singing about it or joking about it whatever it is but it's funny that you should mention that too, because uh, I, I've noticed, like I've been aware of your band for like a few years now. Uh, started listening to you guys finally after like hearing fans talk about Joywave. Like uh, you guys would come up with, with fans all the time because weirdly we had these parallels going on with our bands that like I didn't know what you guys were up to. I'm sure you didn't know what we were up to, but like, uh, I would wear like a cape or something on stage or like sparkly shoes or something like that. And people would say, well, you know, Joy Wave is really <laughs> Yeah. And so people would say, list, you know, man. this band Joy Wave, they've been doing something similar to that. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? So I'd, I'd like Google it and I go like, well, shit. <laughs> like, and so there's, there's things that like, our bands have been on these, these weird like parallel wavelengths, I think, without even being aware of it. Um, or I've just been straight up copying you for a long time. Um, but, uh, but, but it's, it's cool to finally be able to like Helvetica be familiar with your band and your music because I'm a fan, man. And to be able to have, you know, this tour happen and come together like this is, it's going to be awesome. I'm stoked. Dude, I'm, I'm extremely excited. Yeah. We've seen, uh, uh, so many, I don't know how shirts at, uh, at our, our shows over over the years, that that was like my introduction. <laughs> I think was just the amount of shirts I was seeing, where I was, I was like, I was like, seems like our fans uh, uh, really like this band. Um, but uh, yeah, I I think I think people are uh, really excited for for the tour. Um, we're we're buds with uh, one of the best oh, yeah, is... going off in, in the comments. But uh, I, I I I saw them that's uh, good the other night. They're close friends of ours, and they were very 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 excited about. Oh, the that's tour. awesome! They, I love that. They love you guys great. too. So it's. Uh, uh, that that they, they, they were they were like uh, uh, Charlie, one of the guys in the is like, I want to go to that. Uh, I was like, well, <laughs> live in the United you Kingdom. Can, you could come be on the tour if uh, if you want to get paid in sandwiches. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, how many more? How many more? Yeah, let's, let's do, do uh, let's do, do one or two more, more and then, then I got a lawn to mow. I got dad stuff I got to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. One of these days, uh, I'm going to get brave enough to push some of these buttons on here. Okay. But in, in the past, I've, I've tried and it all just goes away. Yeah, I ruin it, it all. It tanks everything. Okay, this is this is a good one because I, I feel like there may be some people uh, coming to the tour who this is their first concert because, yeah. you know, it's it's been a crazy couple of years, right? And I, I think about 
you know, there, there's some people who have like gone through college or the last couple of years of high school during this time. And to any of you watching who did that, uh, can't believe you did it. Uh, that is like and, tragic. And really impressive uh, as well. Uh, but you got through it. And, and, right. And, and impressive is the, is the word I was, I was looking for. Um, but uh, tips for going to a standing concert. This is my first one. Um, well, com coming from someone who has to go throughout the entirety of the tour, I would say be vaccinated and wear a mask, first of all. Uh, I, I know that people are sort of relaxing on some of those COVID mandates, but it's never a bad idea to look out for yourself and for your neighbor um, and for the bands on stage, too. Like, it's not just COVID, but like we could get a cold or a flu or something, too. So let's uh, keep that going. Be concerned about be concerned about me and Dallin's health. That's uh, really what I meant. That's really what I meant. Fun. So whatever. You, um, it's whatever it's you very important us, that Daniel uh, and I have a good time that. when we do this stuff uh, as well. Uh, that's mm -hmm. the probably the most mm -hmm. important thing. So, um, so smile, mm -hmm. smile. So that's smile, right. smile. Because we can tell. We can tell. It's it's in the time. eyes, and we we know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Uh, hold hold your wallet mm -hmm. uh, and uh, see it. especially if there's cash in it, I'll, I'll be much more inclined to look at you, uh, sing directly to you, if I know that mm -hmm. there's actual mm -hmm. paper money in your wallet, um, because again, that's why we do this. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, strip strip club rules, right? Some sometimes people can get close enough to the stage. Have you ever had somebody uh, grab yeah, your leg yeah. on stage or try to touch you? Yeah, why are you trying? Yeah. Why are you trying to touch us? Don't consent. Touch us. Re no remember touch the rules very, of consent. Very simple. Like if, if uh, you know, if that's something that happens in the show, like we'll let you know what's okay and what's not. Um, mm -hmm. We'll let you know exactly. when it's time to reach out and touch our legs. I don't think that most. If it does, happen, but if any, it, anything, if it does, we will let you. From, there'll be a big sign anything from the knees down. The legs. I think is an okay area. Uh, maybe we'll we'll see how we feel from night to night. <laughs> if, if on a, on a serious right, note, I would say right. wear comfortable shoes because uh, you're going to be standing for a few hours, um, and mm -hmm. don't don't push people. don't push people. That's that's a good rule. I, I think just mm -hmm. in life in general, just don't push anyone. Concert or not, just don't push anyone. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, this this one always blows my mind that people don't know this, but. When you get there, look at look at where the speakers are facing. Like right in the middle, in the front of me and Dallin is not That's actually true. the best place to hear the concert. Like back back by the sound guy is actually where it's going to sound the best. And if you're up front and you're going, I can't hear you. Turn up the microphone. There's nothing wrong with the microphone. You're standing like in like so. So, so where you where you want to stand? So you kind you of move. depends on the experience you want to have. Do you want to hear everything? Or just, do you want to just, or do you, or do you want to want touch, touch the, the, the pretty singers on the stage? Uh, what, what, what are you there for? Ask yourself that question. <laughs> uh, yeah, what else? Uh, I guess if, if you're tall, just kind of be see. aware of the shorter people behind you and maybe, maybe bob and weave a little while yes. so they, they can get a view. Yeah, if you're if you're tall, honestly, but like I'm six I'm, three how, down something like that. You? Oh, wow, <laughs> you're you're bigger than I thought. Uh, I'm I'm six foot even, so I, I always think. Uh, yeah, if somebody when I would go to concerts, if somebody uh, you know was shorter behind me, it would be like, "Do you want to trade spaces? Because I'll still be able to see in the." two feet I'm moving back really doesn't. Yeah, I yeah, totally see it from stage sometimes. Uh, you know, you can't help how tall you are, but uh, you can help being aware of the people around right. you. And, and um, you know, being a, a blockade is is not uh, not the best idea. Uh, you can't really help it, but, uh, you know, if, if you're aware of people around, you want them to have a good time too. Maybe just lean every once in a while. Like, you, you good? That sort of stuff. I don't know. Um, that's mm -hmm. great. Be nice. That's another one. Um, 
I'm trying to find like uh, so many of the questions are like either about a Joy Wave song or an I don't know how songs. I'm trying. We, to we should we should like, answer for each uh, other's songs. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, okay, this question is for Dallin. Uh, will there be a live version of Joy Wave's tongues ever? The bass was disgustingly um, good uh, and funky. I, I'm not sure. Uh, it's something that uh, Daniel and I will have to discuss. Uh, but, uh, you know, there, there's a merit to that idea, especially considering uh, if the bass is as nasty as you say it is, then it should be heard by as many different ears as, as possible. And uh, the idea. And um, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, there will be one. Mm -hmm. uh, this question is uh, for me. Uh, what has been the best IDK How fan theory, uh, the best IDK How lore that I have seen or read? Um, I haven't, I haven't seen or read any yet, but I would absolutely love to. And uh, if someone could send me a, a link to any like fan fiction <laughs> type things where like Dallin is a main character in it and like it's about you know the time that you and Dallin hung out that didn't actually happen I would you just uh, love to read that I, th I, th I think you just opened a can of worms that you're not quite prepared to dive into uh, no I, <laughs> I I know I did because the first comment that someone wrote is Dallin looks so hot so I can't imagine. Uh, I learned about fan fiction maybe like 10 years ago and was just immediately horrified by it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing, man. Whatever, whatever gets you going creatively, I guess. Just uh, <laughs> don't send it to me. <laughs> you can send it to Daniel. He'll, he'll it review it. Me. He'll give me the gist of it. I'll, it, Mm -hmm. I'll break it down. PowerPoint the presentation. Send it to Dallin. I will make sure that Dallin sees it. I will. I will screenshot it and text. Give me. It to give Dallin. me the Cliff Notes version of each. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Um, all right. Well, uh, you're gonna go do. Yep. Uh, that. And you're you're in LA, right? And, uh, I'm gonna go do. I am right right now, and and what I wanted to do and I didn't do because I'm I'm supposed to see Ryan while I'm here, who I also haven't met. Was I wanted to have Ryan hold the camera for me the oh, whole time, and then at the end he would sit around and you didn't he know he was on. To, to do that, uh, we should. Oh man, next time. What, where in LA are you working out yeah. of right now? Uh. I'm in different places every day, but right now I'm- There's like this really great, um, I tell people about this all the time because like I would eat there if I could. It's in, I think it's in Burbank. This place called Cilantro's Mexican Grill. Okay. It's uh, in a gas station. And so don't, don't let that scare you though, okay. because like it's a gas station. This used to be like a subway or something and the subway went out of business and this uh, family bought it and they run this really great uh like like food truck tacos and burritos they're incredible i uh i flew to la like a week or, or two ago for like a two-hour meeting flew in had the meeting got the burrito flew back home uh so so make that happen if and uh you'll you'll be extremely glad that you did i will yeah we'll, uh, we'll, I'll, we'll I'll, I'll hit you me. with that address oh yeah awesome Cool. Well, uh, the tour is uh, end of August through September, uh, the United States and in Canada for one day. Uh, tickets are on sale now. Please come see us. I think. Yeah, uh, um, I don't know how now. fans uh, get yourself familiar with Joy Wave. I'm a fan. You should be, too. And let's all have a wonderful time together. No peer pressure. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, All right. Yeah, thanks. thanks for, Dan, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Later. <laughs> later. Okay. I'll see you on iMessage. All right. Bye.